Hey there everyone, this is Elk Alpine VIP 6. Last time we played half this level. There is a lot of level in this level. There was a shortcut too that I misinterpreted the hint for, sadly. But we are now in the second half. I don't know how much level to expect. Like, is it gonna be like one door each and then we're in? I'm expecting maybe two layers each and then combine into a single thing. I don't know. Last time I previewed this room, so I feel like I want to continue investing in this room. We'll beat it, we'll see like, you know, what happens afterwards. Then we'll beat another room, see how that matches with, you know, a new place. And basically, I think, you know, I think what I'm describing here is pretty simple. Alright, yeah, so... <laughs> doing good. Alright, last time I didn't jump. Alright, so what to expect? You can expect the triangles to not work because they're extremely finicky. And that kind of stunt requires an amount of precision you might not necessarily expect. <laughs> Maybe I should try. You know what? Changing my mind. Let's let's compare like the early start of every level. Alright, so Shurikens? Windmills? Sure, why not? Like, it's look like when they touch a corner, they fly off. Like, and that's fine. These go through time and space. You know, very regular behavior for orbs. Here we get a tub double tub of the bow of all body duo. You know, that kind of thing. You gotta be careful. You gotta wash your clothes. Otherwise, that's what happens. Um, alright, so yeah. Legendary Orb and Potabos working together. It's pretty... Whoops, okay, I knew I should have waited, but I didn't. I knew that I should, but I didn't. I cannot deny what I have done. And there I rushed right through the... I don't know why I'm playing so rushy. When you just die for no reason. Like that, like... Yeah, that guy didn't spawn there for a second. That threw me off. Right, look at that. See that is the... Uh, see there, okay, there I got ambushed by the Potabo. That was an actual surprise, it wasn't me just rushing forward. I'm satisfied with my attempt, I guess. I don't know what I'm doing at all. Let's see what 3 has to propose. It has water on the side, that's pretty exciting. It hasn't done a lot of water yet. Underwater tank, yeah, that's an idea. Oh, with ghosts, too. Why not? With a chain chomp. I should have taken the high route. Well, dude, really? Look, I'm clearly not touching the image. <laughs> but yeah, this one you need to hassle with a dog to maybe have a power up. That's, I feel, is a little silly. Oh, but yeah, I figured. I mean, you know, it's, it's, at least it, there is the skull signal. It's not like a pipe. Sometimes I wonder if there's gonna be like an upside down torpedo head that like springs up the top or something. Am I safe? I knew I wasn't safe. But I sat there anyways. <laughs> hmm. That one though is still the one I feel might be the easiest. In terms of reliability, like of being reliably being able to repeat performances. So I think I'm going to stick to Ghost Tank for now. Because yeah, by virtue of being an auto scroller and this kind of enemy, like other than the dog part, everything's always going to be the exact same thing at the exact same place. No matter what happens, you can learn it and you can just do it. You can just memorize it and execute it. It's all you need to do. Uh, this is how I died last time. Ugh. Yeah, just let him pass. Alright. Sweet. Are you gonna give me a new mushroom here? Yeah, that's super generous. One day I might eat it. I did eat it. It was quite wet. Uh, hmm. Oh, okay, I see what's going on here. A little bit of a... A little bit of playing with your eyes here. Yeah, well, I mean, it was either getting crisps or getting smushed. Oh, jeez. This is like the worst part of an auto-scroller. Here we get lasers. Uh, well, okay. Things got weirdly mean at the end there, but I still think it's what I want to do. Let's try one again.
Yeah, see, last time these guys didn't spawn either. So, dimensional orbs might be fragile, spawn wise. Or I'm just mixing up with another place. Everything is possible in Book of the Dead. So the potobos go all the way up, which makes sense, like, that's the whole point. The whole point here is we just got this, these vertical stratums where, you know, danger persists. It makes a whole lot of sense. And, you know, they wanted to, like, be, be cute and just, like, very... Oh. Oh, right, huh. A little bit of big discrimination here. That's fun. Go, should be okay. Yeah, there we go. We are... Need to wait for it to pop, then I can pop it upward. I was too impatient. Alright. Ooh. Not sure how I managed to do that. Like that. Alright, so, eh. Yup. Yeah. Yup. I don't know why I pressed right there. I mean, I felt my, my thumb change, so... I have no idea if I can spin jump on these. I have never tried it yet. Oh. Cool prize. Okay, I can spin jump on... Yo, okay. Coins here. That's fun. What am I watching? I guess that works. <laughs> Alright. Just a big old cherry blast here. Cherry berry blast! Uh, and that leads us to. <laughs> I managed to do that. I managed to be killed in a way that no one should ever be killed. So, but, I got what I want, in the sense that now I can try another route and see if it also leads to that frozen warehouse. If it doesn't, then I'm gonna have to replay it. That's fine, like, I just want the knowledge now. Like, see, like, up here there's gonna be a blue laser, right past this. Really, uh, if I was, like, half a block over to the left, I would have been safe. I'm having issues with the hit... Okay, that was that was just timing. I thought it wouldn't last, but like I'm having issues when I I don't know when they're disappearing. I understand that in Sumara World you can't really change the size of hitboxes, but the visual like the visual stimuli always gets like gets me off guard. That's what I mean, like, you can just recreate it. It's always gonna be the same thing every time. If you know what to do, and you remember what to do each time... No problem, John. Not out of part with the laser yet. There we go. So I've said it before, but dropping down is one of the hardest things to do with swimming in Sumara World. Just go underneath it. There we go. There's a dog. That dog is angry. Don't bust up that dog. I don't know what hurt me. I think it was a torpedo head. Uh, there's kind of a lot of things happening there in that tiny piece of screen real estate. Right here, there's a... Uh, I hope Yoda Scroll stops because we're going to have problems. Okay, it does. Wow, how nice of you. Like, yeah, like, sure, there's those eyes box popping in and out, but it matters so little. Um, okay, I can go all the way up to here. Just get in here, wait here. Then, yeah, like, it's, it's simple. It's, 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 it's extremely simple. Oh, and they all lead back here. So, see? Knowledge, very important knowledge, was attained here. This is extremely relevant. Apple? Don't mind if I do. Alright, and there's a choo-choo train. Oh, and there's a bridge we can make. Well, I got, like, a near infinite amount of time. So, it's all good. What am I looking at here? Jumping over ice. 
wicked. That's what the kids say these days, I think, is like, fashion is a cycle. And words is fashion. I kinda, honestly. Alright, hey. That is hyper generous of you. Well, I mean, if I hadn't had the other switches, this would be the first uh, power I'd get. I'm all puzzled up by that sprite interaction. And I'm not sure what would happen here if I didn't have blue. I guess you need to go to bat? Oh, that, uh, can I get that apple again? Thank you. Woo! Bridge, bridge, bridge. Can I, like, pop a bridge on you, train? I don't think so. That's a real expression, probably. Woo, okay. So, he goes reliably all the way there. I can just do that. Everything is cool. Sprite wall here. All right. Boom, boom. Oh. <laughs> okay. At the end there, I just kind of imploded. Just jumped in that fire for no reason. Is it weird that I was completely thrown off by the lack of boss music? <laughs> because, the, because it was just the normal music going. I was just very confused. All right, well, I mean, I made two out of three. This one I feel is the hardest. Like, it's the one I was avoiding doing because, you know, like I said, pink uh, triangles are really unreliable. And they're set up where, you know, you got like one chance to do them or else you fall in the spikes. Like, that's no fun, but it's, it's what we got up there. And uh, we're just gonna keep trying until it works out, I guess. I'm very good at video games. <laughs> Jump, there we go. I mean, like, the coin guys are there to help, but I feel like in terms of help, there's better. Dude, dude, why are you so unreliable? Eh. No, like, this is the problem. This is the problem. Here... And then here I jumped at the wrong spot and I died. I thought I was high enough, but... I was not. I don't know how you don't get hit, honestly. I... I... I didn't have... like, I think it's momentum I didn't have enough of, maybe? Decision, do exactly what we want mode. There I jumped too early and I accidentally hit down. Sweet. Awesome. So the trick is to completely ignore the coin guides. Okay, yeah, there I was successful by just... not jumping where the coins were, which you'd think that's what coin guides mean, but... Someone had a different idea here, I guess. That's fun. Yeah. Yeah. Do not follow the coin guides. What? Oh. Uh... Yeah, okay, at least here I could, like, take a little break, but... Uh, just, I, there he didn't jump. Just to be different. You gotta jump. You gotta press that button, like, way early. There we go. Way early. Uh, okay, this can just let yourself drop. Spin jump. Ah, okay. Can I just, just jump normally there? No. I mean... At least if you're having your finicky moment over safety, it's... Fine. Oh. 
boy, this is what it feels like. Uh, shoot, I... I mean, look, you have, like, a fraction of a second to react. Like, whatever, man. Well, during my fraction of a second, I didn't react the right way, I think. What's up with all the weird little logs inside there? Oh, dude, come on. See, when it looks cool, it looks super rad. But then, when things don't work out, it's just... It looks embarrassing for everyone involved. Like... Just get in there. There we go, we did it. Oh, no, 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 uh, uh. So what am I supposed to- okay, go here, alright. Uh, uh, I'm not sure what to do here. What? What did I do wrong? Well, guess I'll never know! Just die, please, Jesus Christ. Nice spin jump there. Is this what I'm supposed to do? Yeah, okay, okay, it's actually very simple. I just played myself, alright. Alright, now to die. Well, I mean, like, in an ideal world, uh, I beat this once on my first real try where I didn't just kill my let it start by accident. So in theory, this could be my last time here if everything goes okay. I just need to, like, not completely freak out. Um... When I get to Boom Boom. And I, it's just Boom Boom. Like, there's no reason to freak out the Boom Boom. It's, it's Boom Boom. Who would freak out at Boom Boom? Me, apparently. Alright. Glad I have all the advantages that I got. Ultimately, the are advantages. Some levels play around with the concept of an advantage, but... Ooh, don't... Yeah, try to maintain your feather as much as possible. It is a powerful... Powerful tool. Can you, like, bop the wiggler from underneath? No. Not really. That's fine. Go. I mean, this Wiggler is fine. There you go. If you do that, you give yourself like a whole bunch of time for... Alright, there we go. I did it. I figured out the puzzle here. There's not really one. And here we are. Uh, boom Boom. Alright, Boom Boom. I guess you gotta get close enough to, you know, get you out of your shell. Ah, Alright. Here you get bombed by the photo again. Oh, okay. It's not the end, but could be the end. Yeah! Oh, look at that! We even got nice rainbow drapes! Hey, how welcoming of you! <laughs> no, yeah, like, the one raw running level was fine, but I feel it'd be more fine if it was his own level that's not constricted by having further presence before and after. Like, if it was just its own thing with its own flavor. Well, that went all right. The second half was a lot less demand. All right, so this what. So I misinterpreted a hint yesterday. Like, you know, I said, "Hey, check out this floor near the start," and you know, like I thought it meant this because, like, you know, you follow the floor down to this pit. To me, I think it's not that unreasonable. Turns out what they meant is here. There's a pipe, and it leads you strict, like, straight to here. So you don't have to do the first two in one shot. What will happen in Castle Bowser 3? I I have no idea. I'm not even going to pretend to try to guess what's gonna be there. I'm expecting another full volley of levels, honestly. 